Hello there, today I'll be showing you how to create a portrait in colour pencils. I'll be using the Montmartre Skin Colours coloured pencils and the pack I'm using has 12 colours in it and they are fantastic. But before we get started, if you love art, then jump onto our webpage at www.montmartre.net because there are hundreds of art lessons there, as well as our Facebook, Instagram and our art club, the Creative Connection attached also. So, let's get into it. As I said, for this project I will be using the Skin Colours coloured pencils. There is 12 tones in the pack and I think it's a really helpful aid to create a chart so you know exactly what the tone in each pencil is like. After I have all of the tones laid in, I name each tone and have a white, peach, sanguine, red oxide, sepia, burnt sienna, raw sienna, raw umber, burnt umber, van dyke brown, grey and black. I then mark each pencil with the appropriate name. Of course this is optional, but it is really helpful. I'm using a sketch pad in A3 sizing, and the paper in this pad is very similar to Bristol board, with a fine tooth. There is an outline and a matching photo in the PDF, and if you want to print that out, follow the link on the screen. Start by shading the back of the outline image with a 6B pencil. Flip the image over and retrace those lines with a biro. Don't press too hard though, or the tracing will leave an indentation, and colour pencil will not cover the indentation. This is very important. Any elements that need defining, lightly redraw in with a pencil. We can now start with the colour. Obviously skin is not just one colour. We've built up the tone quite nicely, but we need some warmth. The red oxide will give it this. The general rule to follow is to apply the first layer quite softly and use more pressure with each consecutive layer. This is so that the tooth of the paper does not get clogged early on in the piece, as it won't readily accept more pigment.
See you next time.